All right, let's start setting up our content library in our class notebook inside Teams. So again, I'm going to click on the general channel and I'll click on the class notebook tab to launch my class notebook. Once it launches, I'll click on the purple arrow here on the left to expand the view so that I can see all of my sections, including my student notebooks. This time I'm going to click on content library and I'll click inside the content library and I'll go up to insert. Now I can add as many sections as I want related to how I want to structure my class. So for example, I'm going to create a new section for my first unit, unit one, the dark ages. Once I've given my section a name, I'd go ahead and click OK. Now I've already set up my section, so I'm just going to click cancel. I'll expand the view again and notice that I have my section here, unit one, the dark ages. And again, when a new section is created, it's created with one page and that is an untitled page. From here, I can go ahead and add as many pages as I want or need by clicking on new page in the insert menu. Now keep in mind that this section will be a space where I can add content that I would like to share with my students, including notes, presentations, videos, or any other content that I have that I want to share with them. Huge reminder that in the content library, students can only view materials or make a copy of the materials to add to their individual notebooks. They cannot edit or delete materials that you add to your content library. We will take a closer look at how to add content to sections you create and pages you create inside the content library in a future video. But for now, notice underneath the content library, let me just collapse this, I see my student individual notebooks. So I only have one student right now, this 8606 student demo. If I had more students, I would see them all listed here. By clicking on the student, I can expand his or her notebook and I can see the sections that we originally set up when we created the class notebook. Keep in mind that uh, I can always add new sections to student notebooks and I will show you how to do that in a future video as well. So this student notebook will be the notebook where students can add their notes insert materials, and possibly even complete assignments and quizzes and unit exams. Though I, the teacher, am able to see all of my students and inside of all of my students' class notebooks, the students in their view can only see their individualized notebook and only have access to their individualized notebook.